Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is 4Page. It's been a while. I know this is going to be my new weekend series, uh, like, instead of uh, Minecraft, but I haven't done this for a while. I've only gotten six episodes out. This would be episode seven. And I'm really sorry about that. It's just the term, the summer term just ended. I'm going right into fall term. And everything, I have like a bunch of crap I need to do to get back into my college and everything. So, we're gonna go with, uh, let's see, which one was it? This one here? Or this one? I don't, I don't remember. This one, I think. Oh gosh, oh no, I don't remember. This one's creative, which I did for my thing. Okay, let's try this one, and if this is not it, then we'll load up the other one. And if it's not it, you get a look at what my other game is. And if it is it, well, too bad. You don't get to see my other one. Okay. What do we got? Yeah, click on the flagpole. It's this one. Just making sure that I have my flag changed. Yep, this is the one. Jebediah somehow came back to life and Bill is dead. Got it. Okay. So we have 368,000 monies and a really high reputation and almost no science. Means I can't really do much in the research center. Let's see what we got with missions. What do I have? Nothing, apparently. Uh, no contracts. Well, I should probably take a few, shouldn't I? Let's see, we got mm -hmm. this one pays quite a bit of money, almost no science. I do want to get more science. Because science is very important. Oh, test the Rocket Max Poodle liquid engine in flight over Kerbin. Okay, so we gotta be this high. That's pretty dang high. Oh, I was thinking there was an extra zero there. That's not all that high, so never mind. So here we're testing the Rocket Max brand decoupler in flight over Kerbin. I'll I'll take these testings. Uh, radial decoupler landed. That one should be very very easy. This one is the parachute. Mark 16 XL. And we do test Rocket Max 2477 on suborbital trajectory over Kerbin. You know I still haven't gone to the moon and back, have I? No. I'm not doing that this episode. I'm gonna test a bunch of stuff. Get myself a whole bunch of monies and science. Uh, Rocket Max and suborbital trajectory over Kerbin. Okay. Another one. Okay. Explore Duna and Ike. I can't even get there yet. I could probably get to Midmus though. And back. Midmus is really easy to get to and from because it has such a low gravity, like way lower than the moon. That it's just, it's ridiculous. Alright, what do we got? We got a whole bunch of crap. We better build some test, test, uh, thingies. And I'm going to make them, uh, yeah, these things. Drones or whatever. The non manned thingies. Whatever. Uh, okay. I don't have any big tanks, do I? No, I don't. So this is just gonna have to be. This is gonna have to be on a smaller tank. <laughs> okay, I can do that. That's fine. Uh, am I testing anything else out? I'm testing this out. Stick that on. Can't put that on the end. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably make this uh, like that so it doesn't freak out too much. It's gonna be the worst rocket ever, but that's okay because I'm just testing things. Slap that on. <laughs> It'll just blow it off as soon as I start. That'll work. Okay, so I can test this one, the poodle engine, and this one, and these. Okay. Okay, I think we got. I think I got it. I think this is good. I think I'll manage. These guys on there. Now we launch. 
probably make sure, like double check the the altitudes and speeds of these things, that there might be a matchup between them all. So I could just go bam bam bam. That might be helpful. Okay, 15,500 and 2,900. Oh, the decapolator's got to go earlier. That's fine. I can manage that. And then the parachute goes up higher. Okay, first off. And that's done. All right, now let's take this baby off. I decoupled before. 16,400. So we're at about 15,000. That's when I'll do it. And there. Oh, did I? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Revert to launch. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Again. Alright, so 1,500 or thereabouts. There we go. And now we go... Like that. And then we just have the... Parachutes. And that's that done, and that's all those done. And now we just time warp. Let it go way, 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 way up, and watch it fall. It's going 7 meters per second. I think it's probably going to blow up my engine. Possibly the fuel tanks. Oh well. Such is life. 6.7 meters per second. Oh, it's perfect. That was beautiful. If I don't say so myself, I mean... It could have been better. Probably. Maybe. I probably didn't need to use so many fuel tanks, so I probably could have saved a few bucks. But I I made plenty of money from that. Untitled spacecraft. Let's go recover that. Yeah. I got zero science from that mission. Done. How much science do I have now from those contracts? 189, let's see what we can get. I don't remember if I had one that I was planning on getting. Let's see. Wheels would be nice. Mobile processing lab, that would be useless for me, for now. Ooh! Batteries, solar panels, and lights, that would be very handy. Precision engineering, I never use those. Except sometimes I use these. Uh, lander can, SAS module, ooh. The Mark 1 2 command pod. Burner engine. Alright, oh, right. These are the um, liquid fueled RCS thrusters. And these are the monopropellant engines. Okay, cool, cool. And here we have aerodynamics. I could start my plane building. Uh, adapters. Fuel lines. I'm thinking I'm gonna get this one. Fuel ducts. Definitely gotta have those fuel ducts. Fuel ducks. It's 90. Can do. I could also get one other one. Sweet! Go for the big stuff. Or advanced construction. I got some big stuff, but I don't have any large engines yet, so that'd be kind of useless. Uh, but, 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 um, I don't know. I, I'm not entirely certain at this. Let's go with this one. Why not? Okay, so what do we got left in our contracts? We have two suborbital trajectory altitude 75,000 meters about to 91 kilometers and 73 kilometers to 82 kilometers. Well, now I can actually start doing as asparagus staging. The a tentative success. I remember this one's kind of a tentative success. Yes. I can see this one working. I can. It's true. Um, 
but you know problems there's always problems so I really don't understand why you would put this one instead of this one I guess this one has a little bit higher crash tolerance and but that's just about it otherwise the specs are exactly the same and these ones don't have the multiple facing they only shoot in one direction I don't know Try to think. What could I do at this point in the episode? Just about halfway done. More or less. Shall I try to go to the moon again? No, no, I already said I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna work on my contracts just so I can get more money and stuff and I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> Ever. We're gonna go with another Stay Putnik. I use the Stay Putniks for all my testing needs because I have no reason not to, really. What kind of ISP do these things have? 300, whereas this one has 390, okay. I was thinking, like, these might be good for uh, putting on a lander, a moon lunar lander, because they have a smaller profile kind of thing. But they have. Max thrust at 20, and an ISP at 300. No. That wouldn't work out too well. So I'm testing those, and I am testing which other part? I think it's this one. There. Let's put that on there. That looks terrible. Do I have a smaller decoupler? I do not believe I do. I didn't take the precision engineering thing. Okay, well, whatever. Let's build us a rocket, shall we? To get myself all the way up there. That should get me up where I need to go. I'm not entirely sure why I put this big fat thing on. I only need a small one like that so yeah this thing should get me up there pretty easy plenty of monopropellant tanks for my monopropellant RCS needs maybe the next one I should get the monopropellant engine that might be handy okay we want all these to go off at once and then these two to go off first, and then these ones, and then this one, and then these, and then we're good. Um, and just because I'm feeling safety conscious, I'm gonna put three of those on there, make it look as ugly as possible. Okay. And some of those. Beautiful. Now we're done. Let's launch this sucker. Let's get this contract over. Done. Both of them. Let's go. I don't even need to have a certain speed or anything. Just need to be up there. And they blew up. I think I'm going a little bit fast. Or maybe not. I was thinking maybe, but apparently my throttle's good. And I don't know if I can make it. If I could get into the upper atmosphere, probably. There we go. Got rid of enough fuel and stuff. Should be should be able to should be able to make it. I was gonna go straight up. Straight up, up. So about 75,000. Yeah. Third of the way there. Hey look, stars! Cool. Oh yeah. Let's 
tilt this sucker back around and get it back home. I can just wait, but I want to want to fly. Wow, I have never, ever seen that before. Wow, I, I honestly have no idea what happened. I think I increased the pressure too much. I'll have to look at the footage because I wasn't looking down here. What, what kind of G-forces was I generating? Holy crap. Either that or the exhaust of it somehow blew up my things, maybe. But I, I think it was probably, it just sandwiched it from the force going up to the force going down and just crushed it. Probably. Okay. Alright, let's see what happened. Separation stage 4 confirmed. We're able to couple from Elida with fuel tank. Stage 3 confirmed. Stay put, Nick. One collided into FLT-800 fuel tank. Collided in radial. Yep. It just went straight through it. Okay. That's fine. Nobody died. It was just a drone. We're good. It's all good. I finished the contracts. What did I get for them? Anyways. Um... 60 science, a uh, crap ton of money, and some reputation, 34 science, some money, and a crap ton of reputation. Okay. Well, let's get some more freaking what technology. That's it. Still right. And I was going to go with which one? This one? Double size variant of the Mark 16 now with 50%, only 50% of structural integrity. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Uh, so I don't have enough science, but I can wait. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. What other kind of contracts do we have? We have. Do we have any that expires never? Explore Minmus, Ike, and Duna. TR 2V stack decoupler orbiting moon. Yeah, no. <laughs> Rock and Max Skipper, look at it on escape trajectory out of Kerbin. Uh, okay, I don't know if I can do that. Basic jet engine in flight over Kerbin. Alright. I could probably manage that one, but I don't wanna. No. Do I have anything in flight? I got Jeb Memorial Flag. And not normal flag. All right, that that was when Bill died. When I killed Bill, that was sad. Not really. I was wanting it to be Bob. I was wanting Bob, but I'm glad Bob wasn't on there because he would have died. I don't, I don't care about Bill. Good riddance, I say. But. The way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised if Bill came back from the dead. I mean, what happened with Jebediah? So, maybe. Maybe these guys are immortal. I have no idea. But, that does it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, everybody. Take it easy. Ta-ta!